Hey, Evan Borscher here, and I just wanted to kind of quickly give you a peek behind the scenes at one of these one-shot live and acoustic videos that I did with Meredith Andrews. John Mason was so kind as to shoot a little behind the scenes and, and rolled during the whole take of the song, so I figured that I would throw it up there, synced in with the performance, and you can kind of see me operating the easy rig there. Um, so we're in a super cool secret location here, um, and... We kind of added this at the last minute because we were having a lot of wind issues outdoors. So we came to this backup location and uh, it was they had this really cool wall. And the one problem was the lighting in there wasn't great, um, but I was able to key both of them using a Westcott flex light, which is currently um, to their left and just being bounced way up into the ceiling and kind of creating a soft key on both of them. And then uh, that was really all I did lighting wise aside from turning off some overheads and leaving some other stuff on for Phil and whatnot. But uh, yeah, these are kind of an interesting project. You get to, <clears throat> to see the attempt at smooth easy rig work for uh, approximately four minutes straight, which is not the easiest thing. Um, if you look up at that little picture-in-picture picture right now, you can see where that flex is just blowing up that wall. Um, and that's a 2 by one bicolor flex, I believe, from Lens Pro to Go. So super thankful uh, to them for that. <laughs> you can see my small HD 702 on top of my C100. I consider the 702 critical for any kind of project like these because you're trying to pull critical focus constantly for again four minutes and uh, judging that off the C100 monitor can be pretty rough. One of the other tough things that leads to a few funky jiggles in this uh, shoot is there was actually still some stuff on the floor because we were so cramped for time we couldn't really clear it out so I was trying to avoid stepping on things and you'll periodically see me bobble a little from that. So one other thing with these is that you kind of, I find that it's a lot easier to live in this like mid to tight space than wides actually. Um, it just gives it a little more energy. It, uh, it kind of disguises some of the things that can be annoying about handheld in the wides as well. But you run into a lot of issues with trying to like predict hand movement. Like oh she's going to put her hand up and then sometimes you'll track down or up and then they like don't do it and you get this kind of funny jump there. Um, as far as sound, we're running two Bluebird microphones provided by Joel Russo, my audio engineer. He uh, mixes all of these videos that I've done with all the different artists, and he's the man, and I highly recommend him. Um, and since we were in Nashville for this one, he was able to actually do the recording as well, which was super helpful. <clears throat> so we're running Bluebird microphones into a... Uh, Zoom H6 audio recorder. I also have two MXL condensers and uh, we're using some other honestly pretty cheap small diaphragm condensers here. We tend to not get too fancy with microphones because most of the time we're outdoors and in the cold or heat or whatever and don't really want to damage big fancy studio microphones so um, we use stuff that's gonna sound good but isn't gonna cost us five thousand dollars when we break it. And the Zoom H6 is an awesome audio recorder for these kinds of things. So that's more or less how it goes. So if you have any questions, comment below. Thanks. Bye.